In this video I want to show you this disco ball that we've bought. It works by mains operated only and it uses a remote control. And is activated by voice and music. So let me show you what's in the box first of all. Here we have the light itself, the device itself, and there's the power plug for the main lead, which I shall show you shortly. That's what it looks like underneath. Next in the box is this bracket that attaches to the bottom of the light that allows you to position it anywhere you want. And this is to position it if you want to stick it to a window or a smooth piece of wood. And it's got these adjustable parts here. It's got a ball and socket joint here. It's adjustable. Actually, you can actually take that off too, look. So you can see inside. It will come off if I push it, pull it off, but I won't do. And I'll put that back on. Let's put it on right. To make sure I get the, the thread correct. Anyway, that's that one. We got some cable clips to keep things tidy. We got a remote controller. And there's the battery protector disconnector. So as soon as I pull that out, this button cell battery will then kick into action to power the remote controller. And then here we have the instruction manual. It comes in as a front cover. It comes in various different languages. Five different languages by the look of that and a registration for your guarantee for three years. And it also comes with a very nice long lead with a USB port attachment at the top or the plug attachment for which you will need a USB plug. Now I'm just using this one that I used to power my Samsung Galaxy phone. So I needed to push that in there the right way around and plug that in. So I'm just going to move these out of the way and keep that bracket there for now. On the side of the light device we've got these clips and I'm going to take them two off. I slightly loosened them just to make it a bit easier. Now I'm going to attach this bracket on the side of there see how that goes on like that. Screws are a little bit fiddly to put back in I noticed. And then screw them the whole way up and I'll do it on the other side too. So the idea with that bracket is that it enables you to attach it to a wall um, anywhere you want and this then adjusts. You put it to the position that you want and then tighten it up with these. But if you want to put this onto a window for example I'll show you what to do with that then. In that case you're going to need this that came with it. Now in that position you, you end up pushing this down. So it's flat under there now and as I push this down it sucks it up into a concave element underneath there lot. I don't know if you can see that. Let's push it up. That's flat. And then as I push it up you can see how it pulls in a bit. Now the idea is when you put it on there, push that down, it sticks to it. I'm just going to wet it a little bit. Let's try again. Yeah that's better lot. And then all these adjust and so does that ring there so that you can change that there the position of this ball. Now I've just taken that back off by releasing that device and pulling it from here. 
So I'm just going to take this off because we're going to need that to go in here, in the bottom of there. So I'm just going to put that on and then we'll come back. So as you can see now, I've put that back on and it's quite difficult to get that on and screw it really tight. Um, just grab all of it and do your best you can. And then adjust this how you want it. So I'm going to put it down like that and I'm going to angle it to the left, the light to the left. So then when you do that, you then tighten that up and tighten that one up as best you can. And that lever vertical, and now I'm going to push it on here push the whole thing right down and then push that lever down. So it's got it held there now. So by adjusting this now, loosening that ring up, I can turn it that way, that way, whichever way I want. So let's put it, let's put it that way for now so you can see. And I'm going to tighten that back up. When you tighten it back up, this actually might pull off. So you might have to put that back on again, your window or your tabletop or whatever. Now I've turned the light out and I'm going to plug the mains in here. So you can see there instantly comes on. And it will be activated by however you've set. Ordinarily I think it's voice activated when you first plug it in. And I'll show you the remote controller. But in the meantime, let me just undo this. In fact, let me undo it all and show you what it looks like. There you go, it's not bad, is it? Just darken the room a bit with the curtain. So when I'm talking, it is activated by voice or music. So put it back there for now. And show you the remote controller. So with the remote controller, you've got this battery uh, thing at the bottom here. That you're going to have to pull out. There. So I'm going to pull that out and either keep that or recycle it. I'm just going to pop it there for now. No, on the side here. So on the remote controller you've got the basic on off. So I'll switch it off. You can see now it's switched off. Uh, and then if I switch it back on. I'll turn this light out so you can see it better. And we can change the colour by here, just blue, just green, just red. And then we've got a combination colours of green and blue, red and green, or red and blue. And then we can just switch auto, where it just automatically does changes between colors i don't know what the plus and minus are for so i'll have to look at that so we've got three options for music so when the music is on it is activated by your voice and with number two it will play to the music in a different way <laughs> and then three it looks like it's quite dynamic la 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 um, but with the stop start, let's just do the flash. So it's just going to do an automatic flash, not activated by voice. And then stop start. I'm not sure what that does. I think it's the activation by the voice. Oi. Oi. Ba 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 da ba 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 ba. So I'm going to have to look up what that means. Anyway, there's the back of it. And that's more or less covered this item. Uh, the last layer I just want to show you is a packet of clips that come with it uh, for keeping your cable tidy. And they're just self-adhesive where you peel the back of that off and stick it anywhere you want. Um, so there we have it. This is the Omeril disco light and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and look out for my next video
and oh in the meantime let me just show you on the wall so it's quite nice isn't it quite good